Greetings, YouTube. Uh, back again with another Hydro Dip Body. Um, mentioned in the previous video, I was going to discuss two other bodies. This is one. The other one's over here. I'll show you in a second. But this is a Warmoth Nomad Body uh, with a Warmoth neck. It's a Strat style headstock, um, modern style or modern type, however they do it. Warmoth neck, which means you have the fine adjustment truss rod down there. There's actually a truss rod adjustment, a regular truss rod adjustment in the heel, I believe. That's how that works. Um, you know, the setting looks a little bit different on this or a little odd. I know that a lot of people, you know, you would go with the Nomad body. You would go with a pointy headstock or a pointy or more of a, um, a hockey puck style headstock. This was my attempt to recreate, say, a boogie body or DiMarzio or Charvel style guitar from the 80s. Um, so, you know, I, you see a lot of those, even if you look at some of the things um, that were coming out of California, like the San Dimas stuff, it would have, you know, the Strat style headstock on an Explorer style body, things like that. So that's what this is supposed to be. It's just reliving that, I guess you would say, or bringing that back. Um, the body, I believe, is Alder. Uh, roasted maple neck. Um, the coloring here, again, we're using Magic Marble Paint. It's a yellow and orange uh, swirl. Those are the only two colors uh, with a white base. Now, I came across this color. I was actually doing samples. And at the time, I only had three colors. I had the purple, the yellow, and the orange. Um... I was like, okay, what happens if you mix purple and orange? What happens if you mix yellow and purple and things like that? And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put together yellow and orange, even though I have no interest in doing a yellow and orange paint job. Um, you know, my favorite color being purple. Hey, why not do another purple guitar? Well, after I got, with, got done with the sample, I'm like, this is great looking. So I posted this on uh, one of the forums, uh, the gear page. And I just said, you know, to a couple of people, what do you think about these color samples? And everyone's like, you know, the yellow and orange looks great. And uh, someone's like, yeah, I would call that, you know, like uh, vitamin C or something. And it's awesome. And, you know, it turned out great. Um, one thing that I mentioned in the previous video about the fade, how when you start a hydro dip, it's darker at the beginning or at the bottom of the guitar where it enters the water and it starts to fade. This happens here. You see this a lot. Um, so that color there is so much darker than the tip up here. A lot of that is just the fading of it. Now, this guitar has gone through some abuse, unfortunately. Uh, one of these days, I do want to refinish this. Um, shortly after I made it, I did something stupid, and I dropped a guitar neck on it. And that's what these two dings here are. And this was my attempt to try to fix it you can't fix if if you dent hydro dip if you scratch a hydro dip paint job there's no easy way of repairing it i'm sure if you are you know very masterful with a paintbrush and colors and shades and things like that you could get close i can't do that so um what really needs to happen is these need to be sanded back down the whole entire guitar needs to be rehydro dipped but in the meantime it's working just fine um a couple of the specs on it we have DiMarzio pickups in here. I went with white because why not? I thought it would look good. As you can see, I went with white knobs, white switch tip, just because it looked like it fit. Uh, this is a Shaler Bridge. Again, going back to the boogie body DiMarzio style guitars. Uh, it's a hardtail. Um, works great. Very stable. This guy here, this is a kill switch because why not? I wanted one. Um, makes things a little bit different. <clears throat> Back, more the same. You know, you got the nice color. I went with a much thicker neck uh, than I would normally go with. I believe this is uh, Warmest Boat. What is it called? Boat Neck or something like that. It's just a heavier neck. Sprazel Tuners, just because I like them. They go in nice, easy. They work well. Um couple of uh, shots of the finish you're gonna see orange peel this is before I really understood how to 
prep the body properly, um, water temperatures, things like that, and this is going to have an adverse effect. Go back to my other video and you'll hear why. Um, uh, I was trying something new here too as I was putting the body in. I'm going to try to represent it like this, but as the body was going into the water, I was doing this. Purposely trying to swing it back and forth um, for a color effect. You kind of see that here. That's what these are here. Um, you know, it looks good. It came out well. I love the color. I do. I wish this was carried over more. And honestly, once Magic Marble comes back out with orange, I will probably redo this one. So, uh, so that's the Nomad. The other one... <laughs> it is our flame. So, first things first. I'm not a huge Steve Vai fan. I, I appreciate him as a musician. I think he was great with David Lee Roth. Um, I have not listened to him with White Snake, but you know, I think he has some of the coolest looking guitars ever. So, that's kind of why I made this one. I wanted to do another Hydra Dip, but I wanted to do something different. I was sick and tired of doing a Strat. Um, I didn't want to do another Explore, another thing like that. And I thought, you know what? Why not find a Flame Body and try it on that? So I found this on Reverb. The neck is actually Music Craft, so made here in New Jersey. Uh, very nice neck. Um, it's not a roasted maple neck. It's actually plain maple the nice thing about it though is music uh music craft puts on a very thin finish and this finish came out great i love it i haven't done anything with the finish of the neck it's the way it came from the factory um feels great feels like raw maple another demarzio pickup um what do we have here probably yeah we have uh goto tuning machines just because i had them um, this was actually from another build. That's why they got used here. Um, the bridge is actually a Shaler. It's their version of a Floyd Rose. Uh, Tone Meister or Meister something. I went with that simply because it had better ratings than a standard Floyd Rose. Um, and then the upgraded Floyd Rose was not available. without was out of stock. Um, this one, the body itself did not turn out well. And I'm going to show you why. And this I kind of mentioned this in the other video about why I redid really the Strat. All this coloring here. This is actually the paint separating. It's really, you know, easy to see here. Basically, as the guitar body was going into the water, this got covered. And then the paint did this. It just kind of separated. Um, I think this had to do with water temperature. Uh, really had a problem with water temperature that day when I painted this. Uh, I actually painted this and a couple other guitars. One I gave to my neighbor to use, another one I just had laying around. Um, it's actually, I never finished it, it's still in the garage sitting there. So this had a lot of problems with that. Um, I will redo this, but I'm actually waiting for Magic Marble to redo their um, orange paint again. Uh, so I could do this with the three color, orange, yellow, and red. Uh, right now, this is just yellow and red. And as you can see, it almost got pink up here. Um, this was the first time I actually did a headstock, so that was interesting. A lot of taping to get that done. Um, and <clears throat> this is not one of those bodies that uses the Ibanez... What was it? AAJ, I forget how they're called, uh, neck joint. This actually uses a standard Strat uh, neck, um, or, a, a, you know, the, the heel of a Strat. Uh, so it's easy enough to find. It is carved very nicely. I mean, the, you got a belly carve here, which is kind of cool. Uh, adds a lot of detail, I guess you'd say, to the hydro dipping. Obviously, you don't see it, but, you know. Um, the other thing about this is the hydro dipping is not that... In your face as much as I would like it to be um, you know again this is what happens when your water temperature is off you're gonna run into problems this finish also has a lot of orange peel again you know I know how to fix that now you live and you learn I guess you would say so um, anyway point is 
even with not the best results, this still came out good. I have people look at this and say, wow, that looks great. Um, and it is. It's fun to play. It's really enjoyable. It's super light because this thing, you know, it, uh, it's probably three quarters of a size of a Strat body. Um, you know, the Strat itself would be much bigger down here. So it's really cut down and uh, it's super light. Still resonant though. Um, so yeah, it's fun. But I think, you know, once it gets a new finish we're going to keep you know the yellow pickup we're going to keep the yellow knob things like that and the black hardware um once it gets another finish so i think it's really going to stand out so uh anyway if you have any questions uh let me know thank you